Yes. <coughs> Years ago, I saw this uh, poster that says, God makes no junk, or something like that. Yeah. And I've always wondered about that, you know, because t- a child who's crippled, like, like you sometimes might see, you know, you tell him, God makes no junk. Uh, of course, the boy will feel better about himself, knowing that God is, you know, did not create him as being junk. But it also kind of says that God will create crippled children. Yes. I, I, I rail against that because I don't think that's God, okay? But that's the only way that some parents can cope with, with the mechanism, okay? And so, consequently, I do all in my power to make that child's life as good as it can be here on earth. Okay? That's my job. Amen. Couldn't you say that just because he is crippled, he is not junk? He is still a valuable human being. Yes, yes, I don't think he is junk. Okay? He's he's worth everything to me. Right. I have a a, um, painting, print or whatever, in my office, and oh, brother, my names is the artist Green. Something has a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And a beautiful city in the future, in the in the in the foreground, background, and Christ kneeling, hugging a little boy. And it's called Johnny Made Whole. I live for that day. For when I no longer will have a job. But don't blame God for these genetic mistakes. Okay? Whether they are physical that I'm taking care of, or structural mental, or chemical, or whatever. Yes. Well, we know what God is like because wherever Jesus went, he healed. Yeah. He didn't just say, oh, isn't this wonderful that you're blind or you're crippled. You're going to glorify God better in a defective body. He never did that. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, I've, I've seen that bumper sticker or poster or whatever about God makes no junk. And, and that's, all I can say is that's how some people cope. Well, and it is true that we are all valuable. <clears throat> Even the mentally disabled are valuable right. because they're human beings. Right. I think God never gives you more than you can handle. And also, you know, God's interested mostly in your character development more than, you know, physical as much. Yeah. I think that's, a, a, that's not a very, to say God doesn't give us more than we can handle it always made me feel like, well, I don't want to be strong then. <laughs> another way of thinking about that and that is that whatever comes to us in life and we're not protected that God will give us what we need at the time yeah which may be simply the ability to endure like Job it might not be happy okay Um, some of you I know we'll have this text memorized about um, there's no temptation given to a man that you know and it, okay. okay but what does it say he will make a way of escape he will not suffer him to be okay make a way of escape but then what does it say that we will be able to bear it be able to endure it yeah. okay it's not that it's going to be taking away or whatever. That we're going to be a, a may awake of, mis, of, of escape that we will be able to endure it. Okay. All right. Probably spent too much time on that, but that's uh, to me that's precious. I, I I don't think that God makes mistakes. You know, and He did not make cripples. So anyway. All right. Monday's lesson.